Okay, I think I think we can go ahead and get started now. Uh, we're joined now by NASCAR Cup Series Managing Director Jay Fabian. Uh, Jay, please walk us through uh, what happened tonight with the 48 car. Yep. So tonight, um, after the race, post race inspection, going through the optical standing, scanning station, the 48 car has failed the post-race alignment numbers in the rule book and will be DQ'd. Okay. Uh, we'll open the floor for just a couple questions. If you do have a question for Jay, please go to the participants button and raise your hand. And we'll uh, call on you. Any questions for Jay Fabian? We'll go to Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Thank you, Jay. Um, can you be a little bit more specific in terms of what particular area and obviously, I know that there's a, I guess, a, a fudge factor for the car movement. Uh, just a little bit more in detail on this, please, sir. Yeah, the failure was rear alignment. Um, it's the same thing that we check uh, at least a handful of cars for post-race after every event. Um, I can't really give specifics on the numbers. Yes, there is a pre-race number and a post-race number that, that does give um, – a pretty decent tolerance. It was, a, it was outside of those uh, post-race numbers. And quick question is, I, I know that this is a, a very a, a speed up process with the schedule, but the, the team would still be allowed to potentially um, appeal by noon tomorrow. Is that accurate? Can you walk me through that make sure, because I know this, the schedule is kind of crazy here with so many races here in the short time. Yes. Yeah, so they do have, you know, standard right to appeal, just like any penalty. Um, I would have to follow up, as you've mentioned, with the crazy schedule. I would have to follow up with the rule book to see exactly when that deadline is because it's uh, <laughs> two in the morning Eastern time. So I would have to uh, verify when that appeal deadline is. Thanks, Jay. You're welcome. And our final question will come from Bob Pockers. Go ahead with the question, Bob. Yeah, Jay, uh, Cliff tweeted that they think they broke something. Is there any sort of kind of allowance, I mean, for any sort of breaks or damages consideration when deciding on this type of penalty? Yeah, you know, I, the, the 48 ran strong tonight, all night. There's no doubt. I hate it for them. They had a good car, um, performed well. But, yeah, the, the allowance is built in for parts that um, – that that move there's an allowance for that but if parts break um you know the 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 number is the number there is no real um parameter outside of that you know there's parts in the past that have been designed to fail or break and certainly not suggesting that that's the case here but that's what's gotten us to this hard line of this is a post-race number and there is a fair tolerance from pre-race numbers to post can you characterize it at all? Was it close or was it not close? Yeah, I, I'm not going to characterize that. It's a, It was out of the box. And once um, in the OSS, once that box turns red, it's exactly like a speeding penalty. Um, there is no there is no turning back from that. Well, Jay, thank, thank you for taking the time to, to quickly run us through uh, the penalty tonight. And uh, good luck the rest of the weekend heading into Wednesday. Take care now. Thank you. Sorry so late. Appreciate y'all joining us. Indeed. I appreciate everybody joining us. We will have audio, video, and transcripts of this availability on nascarmedia.com. So uh, thanks again for joining us on short notice and have a good night.